Hey, happy Friday to you. Welcome back to the Friday Funnies. You know, yesterday was April 1st, better known as April Fool's Day, and perhaps my favorite non-holiday event. April 1st gives everybody the power to fool others. It's like being a politician for a day. When I was a kid, we would celebrate April Fool's Day in a variety of ways. I know prank phone calls were a favorite. We'd call the zoo and ask for Mr. Fox, or we'd call the garden center and ask them to page Pete Moss. This year, I returned to the fun world of prank calls, but I did it a little differently. Instead of calling someone, I waited for them to call me. The telemarketers are out there and I was ready for them. Actually, I pity the poor bastard that called about my car warranty. I wore my mask on April Fool's Day too. In fact, I wore a dozen of them. I put them over my nose and mouth, my ears, my forehead, all over my head so that only my eyes showed. It was my COVID burka. Well, the Friday funnies this week are not intended to fool you, but rather to point out the follies of real fools. Gwyneth Paltrow, you remember her, she's the founder of Goop, and, the, and that is the company that created the This Smells Like My Vagina candle. Well, she's come up with a new celebrity scent. After Kim uh, Kardashian and Kanye West broke up, Gwyneth sent Kim the first of the production of This Smells Like Kim's Orgasm Candles. Apparently candles that smell funky are good sellers. I'd like to make a few suggestions for additional products. I think a This Smells Like Bourbon Street candle would be a good souvenir to bring back from New Orleans. The combination of beer and pee with a hint of vomit will bring back a flood of memories. Up in Wisconsin, I think that the This Smells Like the Packers locker room candle would sell out in no time. And I don't have to tell you or explain the aroma of the This Smells Like Congress candle. A pastor in South Africa has a unique method to cure your ills. Pastor Chris Penelope of the Sevenfold Holy Spirit Ministries claims to heal people by, by farting on their heads. Yes, you heard that correctly. The pastor has congregants lie on the floor while he sits, sits on their heads and lets go with a holy ripper. He claims that his power comes from God, even though there's no mention of farting anywhere in the Bible. And if people are buying into his gaseous gift, he needs to market it. If people are believing in his power, they would surely shell out big money for a This Smells Like Pastor Penelope's Farts Candle. Of course, you'd have to be very careful when you light it. Oscar Mayer, the manufacturer of stuffed meat products, has come up with a brand new product. Nike re-released their Air Max 90 bacon shoes that look like they are made out of bacon. So since that's such a good idea, Oscar Mayer has come up with bacon-scented shoelaces for them. These laces look like strips of bacon and give off bacon aroma. The laces are being given away through Oscar Mayer's website, but I want to know, where are you going to wear them? I think anyone dopey enough to put these laces in their shoes should take a leisurely stroll through a dog park on a Saturday afternoon. And don't forget to video it. <laughs> That's it for another week, my friends. Thanks for listening. Please share these funnies with everyone. Have a wonderful Easter coming up on Sunday. And, uh, and I will see you back here next Friday. <laughs>